You all are trying to get people involved, and with women especially, and girls that are interested, and with STEM, are there individually programs that you are working on to get inclusion and to get past that that feeling with some girls that are a little intimidated by math or intimidated by science ooh, initially. Ooh, 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 ooh. I was I gotta, I, only, I gotta stop you right for a second. I gotta, because my experience as a math person was I was terrified it, but I wanted to be in an environment where I felt comfortable. Here's the thing, little kids love science. Yeah. Little girls are really good in science yes. and math and better than boys all the way through all high the way school. Through, I know, exactly. And the issue is how do we get rid of how do we make Being the public stuck. comfortable with them? Yeah. Yeah. question. How well, exactly. or, or, yes. or to, exactly. to make that those little girls question. think to make those little girls think that being a scientist is cool. Under, well, they might even think it's cool, but they have to get over the folks around them who are yes. saying it's yes. not cool. Yes. All that yes. issue about like mm -hmm. you know you go through and you're a little you know you can't you can't do science and not get dirty a little bit. You yeah. can't you know you <laughs> can't exactly. Right. But you and know they need experience. to see examples, and that's why I think this is what you're doing is so great too. Is that I I have a 15 year old son, and I've watched boys and. They don't, it doesn't matter to them if they're seeing a man or a woman yeah. as the example of something that looks impossible, looks in cha you know, challenging. Mm -hmm. They just see the person. And sadly, but the young girls, it's a see it, be it thing, I think, for young girls. Young girls need women to, to be that example for them if it's just a tiny little push. Yeah. And, and then they'll go for it. I am convinced well, they'll go I for think, it. But I, I hope we never have to I'm we gonna, can stop asking the question. Yeah. Yeah. But great. I'm going to push a little bit on that because <laughs> yeah. I think girls would do that anyway. It's what their parents do. Mm. And so I, I have this whole thing that I think adults are responsible <laughs> for most of the issues because girls go out and they're just as aggressive and outgoing, but their parents do things. And so even if they see it, mm -hmm. their parents may tell them, oh, no, or imply in... Mm the most interesting ways and in teachers not to do it. I've been out of the astronaut program for a long time, but and so I've spent a lot of time around science literacy and I'm always struck by, as you said, if mm -hmm. girls are around women who are doing the science, they have no problem with doing it, Yeah. right? But it's really about that adult encouragement and permission. And I want them, like, I'm going to tell you what my favorite tweet was about Peggy mm -hmm. being mm -hmm. the U.S. astronaut <laughs> with more time in space than anyone else. else yeah. And I was like, underline, underline. <laughs> <laughs> but I, for me, even, um, I saw the astronauts yeah. walk on the moon. That was mm -hmm. inspirational to me. But it wasn't until the first female astronauts were selected when I was I graduated high school, mm -hmm. and it became a goal. It, it changed mm -hmm. from being a dream to a goal for mm -hmm. me, and having that that made it realistic to me. I had no clue how difficult it would be or what right. the competition <laughs> would be, but it made it real to me. Made it seem achievable. It wasn't and something other people do. Yeah, that's that's that was me. I mean, I I, I have gotten more familiar with your story now as. Um, as you've been setting that story free, uh, you know, and, and with your flight. And I love the parallels that we have had with, you know, fathers flying and yeah. growing up and with the moon thing. And there's a confidence thing that goes along with it too. And very thankful. I mean, I think we all need to acknowledge ourselves as mentors for young girls and to take them to that point where they can not question filling out the application. Right. And I was there. I questioned even just filling out the application I'm until gonna, somebody encouraged me. I'm just going to have to go a little bit different because like, <laughs> no, the reason why I'm going to have to do that is because when I was growing up, I assumed that I would go into space. I knew Valentina Torshkova has gone yeah. up. And even if she hadn't, I remember having arguments with my parents and others why they tried to tell me why <laughs> girls couldn't do certain things. Yeah. And if I were waiting for, I had to wait for a black woman to go up into space, well, how yeah. would I get there? Yeah. If yeah. Girls, no, no, how do we get there? So I think that we have to be understand that it's important to have those Absolutely. models, but sometimes those models don't have to be in the exact field oh, you're no, in. No, they can no. be just a strong person who said, mm -hmm. you know, like Sojourner Truth, that I'm going to take rights. Exactly. Yeah. Well, or yeah. my mother who said, you can be anything you want. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. yeah, I Absolutely. grew up, nobody ever told me I couldn't do anything. Uh, you know, it wasn't, yeah. unless it was dangerous for me. Right. You know, <laughs> exactly. like running into the street with cars or something. But, you know, but really, nobody told me I couldn't earn a pilot's license. Nobody told me I couldn't be an engineer. Nobody told me I couldn't 
Yeah. You couldn't fill out an application to be an astronaut. But me, internally, it just seemed like that was, that's just something other people do. In the cues from society. Yeah, and just, in, and, and not that there was any, like, deliberate, no, Nikki, you can't do that kind of thing. Right. But, um, and I do. I want us with what all, all of these feelings and what, what you're doing, too, to just get to the point where we don't have to even and talk about see them. heroes like the three of you. <laughs> more and more and more women that are just doing amazing things. And we see it. We, we, we learn from what you've learned. We take the knowledge that you have set the path for. And then we have new generations just come up behind. Thank you.